What's up guys, Roberto Parker here with Innovative Sports Trading. Welcome to a Health Detective Talk. What is the true definition of fitness? That is what I'm going to talk about today. I believe that most people in this country are misconstrued about the true meaning of fitness. I'm going to give you three areas where people usually fall into defining fitness. Cosmetic, biological, or performance. Now, if you're a cosmetic oriented person and you're exercising, you're working out, you're eating certain types of foods, your goal is more vanity, maybe to put on some muscle size, maybe to lose some weight. That's probably the biggest area right there in our country. Possibly to gain some muscle. Some people want to put on a little bit more bulk. Maybe you're more of a bodybuilding oriented person or a bodybuilding competitor. Maybe not really a competitor, but you kind of lean in the way of bodybuilding and you just want to look good in the mirror so that you're very vain. That's vanity. Now, biological. Biological is different. You're treating more because of survival reasons. Believe it or not, at one time, human beings lived in the wilderness. We had to survive. We still have that basic DNA within us. We still have that genome within us, that survivability genome. Just because we have it a little bit comfortable today with modern technology doesn't mean that this is completely eradicated. Our bodies are always trying to survive and you can, you can help this by training more for resiliency. The ability to combat diseases and viruses and illnesses and injuries. And also, even if you become diseased, ill, sick or injured, if you're strong going into those, you're going to be stronger coming out of those. You're going to recover much faster. Another one, the ability to digest fats, proteins, and carbohydrates more effectively, which are the major macronutrients of the body. The next category, you might be a performance-oriented person. You're training for a competitive sport. Maybe you're in a competitive sport. You want to improve your libido. Don't we all? <laughs> okay? You want to improve occupational abilities, how well you work on your job. You want to improve your mental capacity and feel better. Think better, not have brain fog. So what is really true fitness? Well, let me say this. The foundation of everything I just talked about is right here, is being biologically fit. You're training to build resiliency for survival and to improve your digestion. Thus, if you can go to be more of a performance athlete. If you're currently an athlete, you're going to work out more. You're going to eat more than the average person. You're going to go through intensive training if you're training more for performance, okay? If you're training more for cosmetic reasons, you just want to look good. I've said this many, many times. Train for looks, and you can still have a lot of health complications. But if you train for health, looks will follow that. So focus on training for this first, and guess what? You're going to improve in this area. Now, I'm not saying that it's not okay, ladies and gentlemen, to have nice looking arms and nice looking abdominals and nice looking legs. I want that myself. But the foundation of everything you do should be here. And that also applies to you performance people. You just don't want to perform well in sports, or perform well with your libido or on the job, because guess what? If you don't develop this first, this will not be as well done. There'll be some compensation there. You will not do as well in this category. So you must develop biological fitness and health first and foremost. Now there's a way to do that. What area do you fall into? What area were your goals? You might fluctuate between these three on occasions. Maybe occasionally you're going to be in, a, in some sort of uh, optical course run or something. Maybe occasionally you just want to look nice for a wedding. Maybe your daughter's getting married, you want to fit into that, to that suit or that wedding dress, ladies. That's fine, as long as you maintain this as your foundation. I can help you with all three of these here, guys. But my focus will be in this area. If your focus is mainly this, I'm sorry, I don't think I can work with you very well. If your focus is just this, and you don't want to work in this a little bit, okay, I can't really work with you. But if your foundation is this, and you want to dab into this and dab into that, 
I'm the guy you need to talk to. Give me a call. Roberto Parker is my name, 816-405-7703, Innovative Sports Training. I do fitness analysis, performance analysis, I do hormone analysis, I do biomechanical analysis, I do online, online consultation via the internet, via FaceTime, via the telephone. I will work with you. The first 30 minutes of a one-time session is free to see if it's a good fit. So guys, give me a ring, contact me via email, I'll be more than happy to work with you. RWP Sports at Yahoo is an email, by the way. Take care and God bless. Bye.